Hi everyone, welcome to watch just another TBC video. This video and the following ones will review the GIS module in TBC and demonstrate how the module could provide a good handshake between the Azure GIS data source and the TBC field to finish workflow. Just in case you haven't heard of the GIS module before, it is a module in TBC to help seamless integration with a GIS data source. For deliverables that needs to start from and go back to an Azure data source, the GIS module can connect to that data source, extract the schema, and translate it to a feature code library which TBC and Trimble Access can understand. Then survey crew can collect and process the field data with that feature code library. In the end, the data can be synchronized directly into the original data source without numerous tweaking, merging, and exporting. Today, I will show you the first step, connect to the GIS data source. Create a new TBC project. From the GIS tab, click GIS Connection Manager. To add a new connection, tab Add, then rename the connection. As you can see, TBC supports three data source types today, File Geodatabase, Shapefile, and Enterprise Geodatabase. Let's connect with the File Geodatabase provider first. A file GDB is a file folder that holds its dataset files. Navigate to your file GDB folder and click OK. A coordinate system mapping window will pop up, asking how you want to deal with the potential projection conflict. You may first click the Details button to check out what projection your TBC project is using and what projection the GIS data source is using. The left column comes from the TBC project and the right column comes from the GIS data source. After the comparison, you can choose to match with the GIS projection, keep the difference and transform later, or assume they two are the same. My personal preference is option one, so to avoid unnecessary issues. Click OK to close the window. The geodatabase file path is recorded. The GIS module allows multiple GIS connections. Instead of closing the command, I will continue creating another connection with the shapefile provider. Rename the connection. Choose shapefile from the list. A shapefile is stored as a set of related files and contains one feature class. You can use control and click to add multiple shapefiles to one connection. Every time when a new connection is created, the coordinate system mapping window will pop as a reminder. Let's try the third data source type, Enterprise Geodatabase. I borrowed a concurrent ASRI license, so the licensing warning will pop up several times in this video. From the folder list, select Database Connections. Then click Add Database Connection. This dialog window will ask for a few things. First, the database platform, or where the enterprise geodatabase is stored, and the database instance ID, and the authentication information. 
than which database you'd like to connect to. In this case, I call it DBTBC. You will need to talk to your IT department or the GIS manager for these kind of information. Click OK. Now we can connect to this geo database. The enterprise GDB connection can be slow sometimes. You're seeing a fast connection because my enterprise GDB is created on premise. By the way, if the projection doesn't refresh in your status bar, simply recompute the project to see the updated information. So far, we have created three different data source connections. We can read some existing features from them. Click Read Features from GIS. The Enterprise GDB is my latest connection, therefore, TBC tries to retrieve data from this source by default. You may choose a different data source from the list. In my file geodatabase connection, I have four features scattered in four feature types. If a feature type is empty without any data, it won't be listed. Click OK to bring these features in. Select and right-click to check the properties. For a GIS point, the default label visibility is set to off. If you'd like to see their point IDs, just like regular TBC points, change the status to By View Filter. The point symbol is also different because TBC doesn't assign a coordinate quality to these GIS points. As an option, you can choose Add Coordinate from the Properties pane top. So TBC can make a coordinate quality assignment. Before the video ends, there are some tips I'd like to share with you. To run the GIS module properly, an ArcGIS standard or advanced license is highly recommended. If you're running a new ArcMap version, TBC may not have it supported in the configuration yet. To fix the issue, go to the file folder and replace all the new version numbers to your ArcMap version. If your enterprise GDB sits on the SQL Server platform, you may encounter this error message. The solution here is to install the SQL Server native client 2012. And for some other enterprise connection issues, you may refer to our help doc for more tips. In the next video, we will convert the schema from the GIS data source and translate it to a TBC feature code library and utilize it in Trimble Access. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.